Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, our ten call your bartender in the OSR. And a little interesting tidbit of information popped up. And I found this pretty interesting. So, Wonderfield on Twitter. Now, remember, Wonderfield, Giant Lands. Wonderfield, Stephen Dinehart. Wonderful, the individual that ran off with all of the TSR website domains. That wonderful. You know, the uh, the, the mudslinging that went, went on last July. I remember this because I was leaving a doctor's appointment when this all went down. So, why is this interesting? Well, wonderful, and, and the degrees of separation you're going to see are not at all. Wonderfield is doing this huge tweet with a picture with Ernie on it. The one and only Geek Nation Tours is headed back to LG. That's not well for good. That's Lake Geneva. This fall to play, participants will spend six days touring and playing OSR games with members of our Giant Lands team. Whoa! The Giant Lands team. Oh, that's right, because Ernie's... Uh, sorry, not Ernie. Gary Gygax Jr. You gotta you gotta make sure you, you say it like Dinehart does. Oh, oh, here he actually says E Gary E, e Gary Gygax Jr. No, it's Ernie Gygax. But Dinehart has to spin it. He spins. And James M. Ward, limited to 15 at $3,599 USD. All right. And he gets a link. A link to the geeknationstour.com. So I went to that link. And oh my. All right. And I, and yes, I can't zoom in on this page. I wish I could. But I will give uh, a link for those following at home. But uh, a journey to Mecca. I'm shaking my head. I'm sorry. An adventure to the heart of the very creation of the game we all love D. &D. We go not only to game and to seek out adventure, but also discover its roots and reconnect with our own pasts. To roll dice and take on the roles of wizard, thief, clerics, or warrior. Yada, yada, yada. All right. So now it's $3,600 for six days. So $600 a day. We will travel to Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, the birthplace of Dungeons and & Dragons, and all role-playing games that have come in the time since. We will play... Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, first edition, in the very house where it was first summoned, the immortal lair of Gary Gygax. Now, they're trying to raise money for that house. I don't remember if they were trying to raise money to make it like a place to tour or if they were trying to sell it. I don't know. The family has been very good to uh, Gary Khan and gamers, allowing folks to come into the basement and game at Gary's old sand table. But it wasn't cheap to do so. Money was going toward, I believe, charity. In any case, we will be joined by Gary's son, Ernie Gygax. Now, this tells you something. Geek Nation Tours knows what Ernie's fucking name is. All right? Steve Dinehart is all about pushing Gary Gygax. Not enough that we have Gary's son. No, no. We have Junior. All right, so to move on from that, they will uh, they will be at Gary's house. But then everyone gets a chance to play with these, wizard, these legends throughout the tour to achieve the exalted status of a Gygax number of two. Now, I've never heard of this shit, all right? But the Gygax number of two is the degrees of separation between yourself and Gary Gygax. You know that, that that old phrase gag me with a spoon, gag me with a spoon. All right. If if you're falling for this, uh, maybe go to Gary Khan if you want to ex experience this. Um, I don't know the people behind Geek Nation tours. Maybe they're great people, but this really feels like I'm watching a very bad infomercial or having to sit through a timeshare pitch, which I was promised would be no longer than 15 fucking minutes and two hours into it, because I haven't bought. I'm still there. Could I want my free tickets? Oh, did I mention free tickets? Well, guess what? 
we'll move on to that. Speaking of things to collect, we will not only game at the, and here's, here's where it all connects, the refurbished, the Dungeon Shop Museum. Okay. So, now you were wondering where the connection was. That's the connection. Wonderfield is pitching this tour, and it has to deal with the Dungeon Hobby Shop. Who's making money off this at the Dungeon Hobby Shop? I know. Listen, whether you like Justin or hate him, you know he's not doing this for free. Okay? But, but we will also be treated to a silver membership each. There. There's your freebie. So you that again, and, and Justin's not giving that away for free, so he's making much more on this tour than the cost of a silver membership. However, those returning tour vets will get an instant upgrade each time they return for the tour. More details in day two's description. So if you come back on a yearly basis, you can go gold, platinum, whatever the rest of that crap is. So, and they give you the tour itinerary, but I, I'm not going to read through it, folks. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. For me, the interesting part isn't the tour. It isn't going to Horticultural Hall. It isn't visiting uh, Gary's gravesite, which, I don't know, that seems kind of morbid to me, but um, it's the fact that Steve Dinehart, who literally gave a huge fuck you to TSR last summer, is uh, what, what's the phrase I'm looking for? Um, at the very least, putting out an olive branch at the at, at worst, uh, I don't know, realizing that the only way to make money is to bring two good scams together. But and this whole wonderful thing, there's an interview with James Ward that somebody gave me a summary of that's worthy of its own video. I am not going to delve into that there because, um, suff suffice to say, uh, James has been promised five percent of. Nothing. And nothing from nothing is nothing, right? So that's its own video, maybe tomorrow. Folks, I will include the link to this. I expect no inside baseball knowledge, but man, I expect uh, some announcement next month or two that Wonderfilled and TSR, they've, they've, they've made up, they're smooching in the corner. And uh, everything's happy, funky, dory. Because ne neither one is uh, is able to get your monies that they need on their own. So they probably need each other. That's my opinion. That's that's my thought process. Um, I could be wrong. We'll see. I'm scrying. I'm scrying from the uh, tavern's toilet pool and trying to make predictions. And hey, the tavern has a toilet, right? Worked out perfectly. Folks, we're still in the midst of the world of COVID. Use your common sense. I'm not your father. I'm not going to hold your hand. All right? I'm not going not gonna to wipe your nose after you sneeze because you have a cold or you have worse. I don't, that's on you. All right? Common sense. Be safe. Be well. God bless. Roll those dice. Roll them well. I'll be back again tomorrow. Maybe with an update. Maybe, maybe tomorrow we'll delve deeper into uh, uh, this, this giant land's thing, which isn't giant, but they claim to be. All right, folks. Later.